have uh, of joy at this moment. Uh, so I want to thank all of you for being here. And I want to express my thanks uh, to everyone. Um, but I want to start <coughs> and thank a few people. you're not going to get Familia Alvarez, Leticia Ramon, Natalie Jesus, Mariana Isabel, Tio Chava, Tio Alfredo, Alfredito, You have opened your hearts and your homes to Manuela. We have loved seeing Manuela's Spanish accent <laughs> shift from Peruvian ya pues, to Tapiqueño. <laughs> We've loved seeing Manuela's love of food expand from ají de gallina and lomo saltado to chavas birria. <laughs> Leticias, empanadas, enchiladas, and even Manuel's salsa picante. But most of all, we have loved watching Manuela become a part of your amazing and amazingly strong family. Thank you, familia. My family was almost all gone at this point. Hey! Yeah. Except <laughs> Angelia and Mike. Yeah. And Mike, I want to thank you in particular. Mike is the rock of the five brothers and sisters. He is quiet, but his love is so deep, his strength is so deep, and he keeps us all together. He is the center of gravity for all of us. Mike, I love you. Thank you. Marisol mentioned that Manuela, one thing we admire about you is the family that you create. A lot of them are here today. Elena, Justin, where you at? Jay. Right there. I'm in. Sophie Wiener Dude <laughs> from Chapel Hill. It doesn't matter if all you guys don't see each other for months, even for years. When you get together, it's like you had never been apart. Your love is deep, almost like deep, dark magic. <laughs> 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 when you need that magic most, it is, it always will be there for you. David's crew. There's too many of you. But I've got to say, Bridget, Kenny, you, and Emily. You're amazing, wonderful, profoundly beautiful people. Watching your friendships with Manuela and later with Manuel grow. Watching you not take your friendships for granted. Watching you work on your friendships through so many transitions over the past 15 years has given us incredible joy. Knowing that you will always be there for each other moving forward gives us peace and tranquility. Eric. <laughs> Manuel is a little brother from another mother. <laughs> we thought you might move in with us after um, <laughs> Manuel has got married. Plus. But instead, you decided to also move to Sacramento. <laughs> if you ever reconsider, <laughs> Manuel's old room is there for you. <laughs> you and I, we can pick the colors. <laughs> Manuel. My soul has said a lot, so I'll make it short. We love you in part because of your love for Manuela. But we love you most of all because of the amazing person that is Manuel Alvarez. Thank you for your love, 
and friendship to me and to Marisol. You've already been part of our family for quite a while, so you know what you're getting into. <laughs> We look forward to many, many more years of growing together with you. Marisol, I want to thank my beautiful esposa, and you often ask, ¿Cuánto me quieres? ¿Cuánto me quieres? How much do you love me? The answer is, ¡Cállate! <laughs> of my life, of which Manuel is a big, but not the only part. And I can't wait to see what the next 30 years <laughs> One more thank you. Yeah. Manuelita. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> keep it, keep it, in, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, you can do it. Cholita linda, cucarachita. The gifts that you have given to me are uncountable. So I'm going to name just three. They may not seem like gifts because they were the part of the rhythm of our daily lives. But to me, they're priceless. Gift number one, brushing and styling your hair. <laughs> Of course, you had your bath at night, so in the morning, your hair was an absolute mess. <laughs> but you let me brush your hair, pulling through the knots, yes, occasionally screaming, Papi, cuidado! <laughs> while you ate your Cheerios. <laughs> when all the knots were worked out, using the ganchos, the scrunchy finger. <laughs> when they're all worked out, so I can work my artistic magic, creating ponytails, little palm trees, for both. <laughs> I always had those ganchos on my wrists, ready for new hair creation. Later in the day, perhaps while struggling through some particular, particularly difficult exam or a boring lecture, I would absentmindedly find myself touching my wrist. Right? To make sure that a gancho was there. As soon as I felt the cloth texture of the gancho, I'd smile and relax, knowing that everything would be okay. Alas, all good things come to an end. In the case of hairstyling, I think it was at the beginning of the school year in second grade when you said, Papi, I can do it by myself. So I let it go. Seven years of daily hairstyling was a gift beyond comparison. Thank you. Gift number two, morning fashion. <laughs> now, those of you who know me might think a fashion-related gift might be odd. <laughs> Since my idea of high fashion is a pair of clean cargo shorts and a t-shirt with a dog on it. <laughs> but there was nothing I loved more than picking your outfit, setting it out the night before, and helping you get dressed the next day before school. And I must say, the results were impressive. <laughs> Here's a typical example. Purple leggings, green turtleneck, and on top of that, some graphic tee, perhaps Tia Burns Gators tee. <laughs> Alas, all good things come to an end. In the case of morning fashion, it was the beginning of school of the third grade. So I let it go. 
Eight years of daily fashion was a gift beyond comparison. Gracias. And finally, gift number three. Morning reading. On June 26, 1997, <laughs> Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone oh, yeah. was published. <laughs> you were five. You were not and are not a morning person. <laughs> Every morning to wake you up and get you going in a good mood, I would climb into your bed and read out loud for 30 minutes. You'd wake up gradually lay your head on my shoulder and follow along. We finished the first Harry Potter book by the end of that summer. It wasn't our first book and it was far from our last. As you got older, our ritual changed. In fifth grade, I believe Gandalf had just fallen in his battle with the Balrog. <laughs> and you said, Poppy, can we read at night instead of the morning? So instead of starting our morning reading, we would end our day reading. July 21st, 2007. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows was published. <laughs> that was a Saturday. I know. But we had special ordered the book and received it on Friday. We were a sophomore <laughs> in high school. We still read at night, but not every night. <clears throat> that weekend, we spent the entire weekend reading from Saturday afternoon to Sunday night. I learned later, of course, that you had stayed up on Friday night and read it yourself. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias, mi amor.